hypocrisy at its peak as former governor of Ungu State and veteran journalist Shegun Shoba could not answer a simple question from Rufai Osini of Arise TV. The first question I ask you, you called President Tudubu a hero question. for removing subsidy. Would you call Good Luck Jonathan a hero for removing subsidy? And why is it that when President Jonathan removed subsidy, your party then kicked against him? So E2 is a hero, isn't it? Or is it not a hero for removing subsidy then? You know, at that time, the subsidy was minimal, and what we are saying then was that uh, uh, they should have tackled the corruption. Now, the corruption now continued and, continued and became bigger and bigger and round tripping, round tripping. People bring it, I mean, before Jonathan, after Jonathan, a lot of events happened. Round tripping, bringing in vessels, and, you know, round, round tripping the vessels right, four or five times. So the, the, the corruption in the subsidy became higher. Before, that was, that was the situation between, I mean, of, of course, I respect Jonathan. He's a gentleman president. All right, I respect sir. him. Now, the question is, during the time Tinubu took over, or let's say Buhari, wasn't there corruption before Tinubu removed subsidy? Why didn't he tackle corruption first before removing subsidy? Then why blame Jonathan for not being able to remove corruption and the whole round tripping of a thing? You can see the double standard and by God three from these leaders these elders that we have as politicians, it is very evident that we are not in safe hands. Fayemi once said that the protest against Jonathan's regime on subsidy removal was all politics. And you can see that Fayemi is not even part of this government. So when you tell them the truth, they find a way to push you out. So this is Shegun Shoba, a veteran journalist, two-time governor of Ogun State, just fumbling on national TV. Look at reactions on Twitter. Thomas Nosankara says he said subsidy was minimal then, but they opposed its removal. That was the best time to move it since it was minimal. He said corruption in subsidy has increased since after Gulot Ejibile Jonathan. Why didn't Bola Tinubu remove corruption like they advised Gulot to do? Senile hypocrisy. One day on Twitter also says, you see one of the advantages of being old is realizing the opportunity God has given to you to aid in putting your affairs together and guiding the upcoming generation by speaking truth to power. May I not be this old and still call white black? This is embarrassing. It is not me speaking. This is directly from Twitter. Reactions from Twitter. It is embarrassing to see elders that are supposed to guide young people behaving like this. Dewey also says, my question is, why didn't Jonathan stick to his guns? Why did he allow himself to be bullied to restore subsidy that he already removed? He was a weak president. That's why he didn't get a second term. Jezani kept buying $1 million bra on his watch. He couldn't tackle corruption. That is from another Nigeria. Also, he believed Jonathan was weak and could not stick to his guns. We also have some other reactions, but Nigerians are not are not going to take it easy with anybody at this point in time that does not speak the mind of the people. Steve Elijah Yesku also says a simple affirmation from him that good luck Billy Jonathan was a hero for his removal of subsidy on fuel and thereafter to render an apology to good luck for their role in Scotland. Good luck's subsidy removal policy would have been the honest and honorable thing to do. Nobody is above mistake. Yet again, you can see the reasons why respect is far from some of our elders. Now, this is what Shure has to say about President Bola Tinubu and his plans on dealing with Nigerians. The 23 presidential candidate of the African Action Congress. Omoyele Shure has accused President Bola Tinubu of having an agenda against poor Nigerians. Shure alleged that the president plans to completely wipe the struggling people of Nigeria off the face of the earth. He made the claim following a report that the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and oil marketers under the aegis of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria on Tuesday clashed over the removal of subsidy on petrol. However, in a post on his Twitter handle on Wednesday, Shore said Tinubu plans to wipe struggling Nigerians off the face of the earth. The former presidential candidate asserted that 
President Tunubu wouldn't stop with his agenda until he is stopped. He wrote, the agenda of Tunubu and his illegitimate regime is to completely wipe the struggling people of Nigeria off the face of the earth, and he won't stop until he is stopped. This is January 24, a good month for the final revolution now struggle to commence. The question is that, who are those that will come out for a protest, since we have all been divided along religious and tribal lines? We have had people who want to support a regime because of that person is from their end. Will Nigerians will ever come together and rise up for a protest? We have people supporting different political parties and some people, because of bigotry, they would not want to toe the path of integrity and rise up protest against the current regime that is bringing untold hardship on Nigerians.